I'm Phil Belcastro. I'm a customer application specialist with MidTech Resources. And today we're here at the Carmuse Innovation Center where we do standard and specialized testing on everything Lime. So when I say Lime, maybe you're thinking about something like this, or even Lime Away, or even Lime Disease. Unfortunately, I don't have an example of that today. Rather, we're talking about a versatile natural chemical that's used in many industries and applications. So what's the real difference between all these? I'm sure you've heard about limestone before. It's all around us every day from driveways to those large rocks or riprap that's in drainage basins or on shorelines. Um, it's used as an aggregate base course in road construction. And it's also used in many, many, many other products that are all around us every day, such as carpet, shingles, toothpaste, animal feed, all sorts of things. So we can sort limestone based on its magnesium content uh, high calcium, or as we call it here in the lime, or in the lab, just high cal, is almost entirely calcium carbonate, um, whereas elevated levels of magnesium give us dolomitic limestone. Um, and so when we're thinking about high cal versus dolo, all we're talking about is the level of limestone. So we take our limestone, we cook in our kilns for a really long time at a really high temperature, and we're left with a nice reactive oxide of our quick lime. It comes in a couple different sizes, depending on the application or end use you're looking for. Uh, it kind of dictates where we want to go there, uh, but we really like to use our quick lime fines in the construction industry. The final particle size uh, really helps us with uh, reactivity, helps get the good results we're looking for. Uh, so anytime we add our quick lime, to our soil, we're going to dry, modify, and stabilize our, our uh, wet, weak, unworkable soils, make them a lot uh, better for us. We can further process the quick lime into hydrated lime by adding just the right amount of water and agitation to chemically combine to form hydrated lime, or sometimes just simply known as hydrate. And then we have our calcement LKD, which is a nice co-product of the quick lime manufacturing process it is a blend of those calcium and magnesium oxides plus poslons from the uh, fire in the kiln. Uh, it is a nice product that kind of bridges the gap between cement and lime conducive soils. Cement works really well on the granular soils where the quick lime uh, works really well on those troublesome clay soils that have high plasticity, high clay content. Um, but it, like I said, is a nice gap between those two, helps to bridge that gap um, so it is. it has our cal, as in the calcium and the lime component, meant as in a cementitious material, gives us our cal cement. So what is lime? Now you know. But before we go, we can't forget about safety. After all, lime is a chemical. So as long as you treat it with respect and, and know what you're dealing with, we can safely get the benefits you're looking for. So in short, especially in dusty conditions, wear your long sleeves and a respirator, Eye protection is a must, and as with any chemical, check out the STS and don't eat any. Remember, we're not talking about this.